Go ahead. Thanks, Matt. I wanted to ask about my colleagues um, reporting on the use of dumb bombs in this conflict. How does you does how does that square with the repeated uh, statements we've heard from this building that Israel is taking steps to protect civilians that they do have the intent to protect? So I'm just not going to comment on uh, how they are using any specific weapon. Obviously, the circumstances uh, would um, uh, the, the circumstances of how any weapon are, are used would be required to draw any kind of definitive judgment. There are different ways you can use any uh, number of munitions. Uh, it's not something I can do from here, but I will say, I will reiterate that um, we have these conversations with our Israeli counterparts uh, at a range of different levels and talk with them about steps we think they can take to minimize civilian harm. Uh, we've seen them take some of those, those steps. There are always things that we think that they can do better, and we'll continue to engage in conversations with them to that effect. And the Israelis said that Golan told Jake Sullivan today that they intend for this uh, offensive to carry on for several more months. Is that something the U.S. sees as acceptable? Uh, I, I am not going to um, talk about what uh, the Israeli government may or may not have said in that meeting. I'll let the NSC speak to it. I will say to the broader question that we have engaged in conversations with them uh, about the uh, duration of this conflict. We don't want to see it go on any longer than is necessary. Uh, we want Israel to be able to accomplish, accomplish its legitimate military aims, which is um, uh, to ensure that the attacks of October 7th can never be repeated. Um, uh, but beyond that, uh, I will leave it to the NSC to talk about. Is it the U.S. assessment that. that it would be necessary for this to carry on for many more months? Uh, I, I am not going to make an assessment uh, of how long it will take for them to uh, accomplish their military objectives. That really is for them to speak to. Um, but we do want to see, of course, the the conflict uh, or the, the their military campaign executed in a way that minimizes uh, minimizes civilian harm and allows uh, humanitarian assistance to get in, humanitarian assistance to reach those uh, who need it. And that, of course, is what we're discussing with them all the time. And last one, given the president's comments the other day about the waning support for Israel, given this indiscriminate bombing, is the U.S. position that it would be tenable to support Israel at the same pace that you are right now for several more months? So again, uh, you're asking me, to, it wasn't the way the fresh question was framed, but to answer that question, I've got to speculate about how long the campaign would go, and that's just not something I'm willing to do. Ty, go ahead. Thank you, Matt. Just to follow up on Matt and, and for my I think on the review that you are doing, don't you need to do that in conjunction with the weapons transfer? I mean, as you are transferring weapons right now. Shouldn't you be doing this uh, according to law so there are rules and conditions yeah. that attach to any weapons that we transfer right. to any government in the world, not just Israel. And right. one of those one of those requirements is that and expectations is that they act in accordance with international humanitarian law. But right. but you don't have to wait until such time that you've accumulated all that information to say, uh -huh, we cannot send this weapon. You have to do it, as I understand, I may be wrong. Uh, exactly as you send these weapons, and you are in the process of sending lots of weapons. And we are constantly in conversation with them about ensuring that those weapons are used in, in, uh, con in uh, accordance with international humanitarian law and the, the laws of war. Yeah, I have a couple more. Now, when the president is discriminate, he knows what he's talking about. This is just not, not a, just a casual expression on his part, is it? Right? I mean, he, 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 he has enough I, information I, I, I didn't. Say, sorry, I didn't know there was a question. I thought there was a question coming. So <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm asking you, uh, this is not just, uh, you know, I mean, he's been briefed uh, on what happened in the, in the battlefield, what is happening in the bombing, for him to make that assessment. Would you think that that would be the case? Uh, you heard the White House speak to this yesterday. You okay. heard me speak to this yesterday. Um, and I, what I said is, I, while the White House will speak to his specific comments, and they have, what I believe he was referring to was the impact of the large-scale bombing campaign, that even um, when the intent is to minimize civilian harm, you can end up with results where far too many civilians are killed, which is, are the results that we have seen. And the, the uh, and as you've heard the secretary say, we have engaged in conversation with them to try to get to narrow the to, to try to narrow the gap between their intent and the actual results on on the ground. A couple more questions. And uh, now there were reports that uh, apparently the Israeli Israeli soldiers were, you know, executing in, in an UNRWA school some people that they, you know, they. They arrested or whatever last week. Yeah, are you aware of this report? Do you have I, any comment on that? I have seen the media report. I'm obviously not able to make an independent uh, assessment of that. I will reiterate what I have said, which is that um, it is important that Israel conduct this operation in a way that complies with international humanitarian law. 
that complies with the law of war. It's essential that um, uh, when there are allegations of wrongdoing, that Israel look into those and investigate the, those. Uh, but I'm not able to con to confirm the the reliability or veracity of that particular report. And lastly, I promise, uh, you said that uh, we you understand Israel's goal at the end to to disallow Hamas from committing whatever. Yeah. Do you believe that it is getting close to that goal? I mean, do you have like any kind of you know, do you, do you envision a timetable that uh, again, this is happening? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. Um, uh, if you're, if you're yeah, done. Sure, sure. Sorry. Yeah. Um, this is Israel, again, this is Israel's military campaign. Right. They are the ones conducting the campaign. It is up to them uh, to make assessments about how long it will take and where they stand in accomplishing their goals. Because the reason I ask this is because the, the defense minister today uh, told Mr. Sullivan that this can go on for months, many more months. Uh, and I will let um, uh, the NSC respond to um, uh, those conversations, as I said, in, in, in response to the question from Jennifer.